Jeff here, Aromatics. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing great, enjoying the rest of my holidays. I got a week left and New Year's is coming up. Did a little cross country skiing yesterday or the day before and man, um, I think I overdid it a little bit. My back was already a little sore just because it does get sore during Christmas, maybe because I put on a little bit of extra weight. But I thought that the cross country skiing might loosen, loosen it up a little bit, but uh, I think we just stayed out a little too long. So I ended up getting a little more sore, but it was worth it. It was fun. It was good. So today I am sitting outside here. Oh, before I, I start my review, uh, I was watching a video from Uncle Phil Seller and he was just talking about how it seems like right now there's a little bit of lull in content when it comes to pipe smoking. So I thought I would fill up the, fill in the gaps a little bit. So I, I'm trying to get a little bit better backdrops for this time of year. So I'm trying to get some better lighting for in the house so I can do some stuff in there for video as well as out in my smoke shack. But until then, yeah, guys are gonna, just going to have to put up with this, uh, this nice, cool outdoors ambiance for now. So anyway, the tobacco I'm going to be reviewing today is Cornell and Deals Three Friars, which is supposed to, I guess, sort of be a homage to Three Nuns. But um, I don't see how it can be because Three Nuns, the, the star of the show is Dark Fired Kentucky. And this has no Dark Fired Kentucky in it as far as I know. It's got Virginia, Brown Virginia, whatever that is, Burley, and a little bit of Perique. So, um, but that doesn't mean we can't enjoy it for what it is. And the smell in the bag... I'm not really getting anything. Uh, it's a little bit dry. When it was fresh, I probably could have got a little more of a smell out of it, but uh, just nothing right now. It's got some little chunks in there. Other than that, it's just your basic kind of a Cornell and Deal ribbon. So, another thing I was going to show off, I'm going to do a, a more thorough review, and that is the new Clipper Lighter Black, at least new to me, and Hempwick, which I got for Christmas from Christina that came along with the lighter. So I'll do a review of the Hempwick as well. But the main idea of the Hempwick is it burns at a lower temperature than most flames, so you get a cooler, cooler light, which would be good for Virginia's or bitey blends, which this one used to bite me a little bit, but not anymore. So. Let's light up and see what we're tasting. Worked well. It's even a little windy out today too. And it's just kind of hemp wick with a little bit of beeswax on it and I just wrap it around my lighter and since it's sticky and waxy it just sticks to itself so yeah something I'll, I'll explain a little more in a in a future review super cheap too so on the first light up it takes a little while to get going but the first thing that hit me was a little bit of a nutty burly. And then you get a little bit of a little bit of grassy hay Virginia, just a slight bit. I think that's secondary to me. I think other people say they taste the Virginia more, but for me it's a little bit of that nutty burly. And as it go as it goes down and, and melds a little bit, the overall flavor you get is a uh, brown bread and an unsweetened graham cracker it, it's it, there's a graham cracker taste to it but it's not a sweet not sweet at all there's the perique is there but it's not it's not heavy like some of the other cornell and deal perique blends like haunted bookshop or uh those types it, it more of more comes across just as a nice kind of a, a, a light fruity fermented taste with a slight spice. This is a, a really good, a good tobacco for when you're when, for you're in the mood for something not too, uh, not too strong. Uh, like you like you like you like haunted bookshop or or maybe you don't because it's too strong. But you want that type of flavor, but you want it toned down, not as much nicotine, not as much overall strength, but still good rugged flavor. 
this hits the spot. To me, it's just one of those blends that's great when you just don't know what to smoke. Um, you don't want anything too strong, but you want something flavorful and, and not too, just something you don't have to really think about too much, but you can still enjoy. This is, this is one of those blends. I can see it being an all day blend for many people. For me, it's just sort of a, a treat blend when I want something just uh, with not a super high expectations, but something that's gonna satisfy me as well. So I'm gonna keep smoking this down and enjoy my uh, time outside. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review and I'll see you on my next one. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.